Hello, I'm Lindsay Carter, Marketing Associate here at eSource, and I'll be taking you through this brief demo. First of all, congratulations. You've created an eSource web account, but now what? Today I'll be covering how to use the eSource website to get the most out of your membership. Let's get started because we have a lot to cover. First, I want to tell you a little bit about eSource and our website. We are a membership-based firm which allows us to produce neutral and unbiased research and information for utility professionals. Our model enables you to tap into the best minds in the business, people who have wrestled with problems very similar to yours. Our approach gets you up to the learning curve fast, helps you avoid the mistakes that others have already made, and allows your organization to begin to immediately implement the industry's best practices. We are based in beautiful Boulder, Colorado, and we have about 80 amazing people working for us. We're here to help. We are available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Time. You can contact us at either 1-800-ESource or customer underscore service at esource.com. Or if you're on our website, you can find the contact and help section at the bottom of every page of our website. Okay, let's get started on our website tour. By now you should have already created your eSource web account and hopefully you can follow along during the presentation. When you come to the website, you'll want to make sure that you're logged in so you have access to all the content you get through your company's membership. There are two places to log in, here or down here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Our passwords are case sensitive, so be sure to remember that when logging in. All right, let's get right into things. The member portal is your door into all the resources available to you as part of your membership. To access it, simply click on the button of My eSource and pick Member Portal. The member portal will allow you to see which services you have ask eSource questions about topics as they relate to our content, subscribe to newsletters and alerts, get quick access to tools, research, events, and more. This page is completely customizable, so you can move around things as they best fit your needs. So let's explore some of the content in your portal. The number one question asked by our members is, what do I have access to as part of our membership? So let's start there. All of the services your company has memberships to will be listed in the services pod here. If you want to read more about a service, simply click on the title and you will be brought to the service homepage. This page will give you highlights of recent research, events, and any other resources. If your role falls squarely into the area of one of the services that your utility subscribes to, you may want to bookmark this page so that you can always see what's new in this area of content. Let's head back to the member portal to check out more. Now let's dive into the Ask eSource Inquiry service. This is, hands down, the most valuable tool available to you through your eSource subscription. Let me say this again. This is the most valuable tool available to you. If you only retain one thing from this presentation, this is it, so listen up. The Ask eSource service offers you the ability to ask us free and unlimited questions that our expert staff will research on your behalf and send you detailed information and resources you need. I know it sounds too good to be true in an era where you have to pay for soda on an airplane, but there is no catch. Here's how easy it is to use. Simply click on Submit an Inquiry. Just fill out this form with all the specifics of your question and submit. Easy peasy. Once you submit your question, a new pod will appear in the member portal called My Inquiries. This pod will show you the progress of your question, and once it's completed, you will receive an email that the answer is now available in this pod. Let's take a look at what an answer looks like. You'll notice that you'll have the question at the top and then the answer. This is a pretty robust answer. It also includes links uh, to external data all throughout the inquiry. Now this is just an example but you can kind of get the idea. Okay, let's head back to the portal. One more thing to mention about the Ask eSource service. 
Please allow 10 to 15 days for questions to be answered. If you need your question answered in less time, please specify that in your request and we will see what we can do. We cannot guarantee a response in less than three business days. Okay, next up. Wouldn't it be great if you could just get research that pertains to your job delivered to your inbox? Our newsletters do just that. A good rule though, know what you are currently a member of before signing up. Nothing is more annoying than getting a newsletter with content you don't have access to. So be sure to pick the newsletters that correspond to the services you have. You can always call us and we can help walk you through it. Not only will this pod show you what you are currently subscribed to, it'll also let you manage what else you'd like to receive. Member newsletters will help you stay abreast of all of the current research we're doing. They are separated by specific services so that you can pick the ones that you will benefit from the most. It's easy to sign up. Simply check the box next to the newsletter you'd like to receive and save your subscriptions. So maybe you created your account because you wanted to check out DSM DAT to see what other utilities are doing with their DSM programs. Or maybe you're working on a new ad campaign and want to see what others have done with their marketing in the Energy Ad Vision tool. Some of our memberships have these and other helpful tools associated with them. You'll definitely want to check out this area to see which tools we have that can save you time. As part of most of our memberships, you're asked to participate in market research studies so you can not only understand trends, but also know where your utility ranks. For example, we do benchmarks on IVRs and websites, business customer satisfaction, and DSM. Even if you haven't participated, you have access to the history of market research. But if your utility did participate, this is the area where you will find quick access to those results. Okay, so say you're just looking for some recent research we've been doing. The research pod is a great place to find it. This is an aggregate of the most recent research we're doing in your service area. Okay, let's talk about networking for a minute. We know that in the utility industry, sometimes your peers are your best asset so that you can get the inside information on what's working and what's not in utilities across the US and Canada. Because of this, we offer tons of opportunities for you to connect with other utilities. For example, leader calls. See here. Each of the service areas has several quarterly calls that bring together utility people who work on specific tasks for an hour-long call where they can discuss what's working and what's not in that area. We also have web conferences, closed-door leadership meetings, and of course our big fall conference, the eSource Forum in Denver. You can also find what's happening by subscribing to our events newsletter, which I showed you in the newsletter pod. Okay, the next couple of pods are going to move pretty quickly. The news pod just tells you about all of the things that are going on at eSource, which include our press releases and blogs, uh, recently viewed, which is pretty self-explanatory, and then our saved box, which I will show you how to do in a bit. Okay, let's get to the real meat and potatoes. Let's do a search. So we'll go all the way back up here to the search box. I'm going to go ahead and do a search on power quality for residential customers. Awesome. It looks like we have 802 results that contain power quality for residential customers. All searches are defaulted by relevance, but it can also be sorted by date. You'll notice on this second result this little lock icon. If you see that lock icon, it means that that particular piece of content is not permission to any of the services you currently subscribe to. So I bet you're wondering, so how can I only see content I have access to? Great question. If you go to the top of the page, you just want to check show only the content I have access to. Clicking that, it will refresh the page. You'll notice that it reduced our results from 802 to 641. You can also save something that you're looking at for quick access later by clicking the little star icon next to the title. This will put it in your saved pod in the member portal. Okay, let's do another search now, this time on LED lighting. Wow, 760 results on LED lighting. That's a lot of content to sift through. Let's reduce our results by using the filters here on the left. So I'm going to use technology, lighting, light sources, 
and that reduces my results to 187. Still a lot to sift through, but you kind of get the idea. Another way to reduce your results is to put quotation marks around your search terms. So let's try that really fast. I'm going to put LED lighting in quotes in the search. So we had 760 results and now 189 results. So that's one way that it looks for just those terms together. If you're looking to search for two search terms, you can use the plus sign. So I'm going to put in residential the plus sign and segmentation. 35 results. So you get the, the idea a little bit here. Alright, so we've covered a lot of material. It's not necessary that you remember everything, but I wanted to show you the most important things to maximize your use of our resources. Before you go, I wanted to go over a few frequently asked questions. I was talking to someone today who was looking for an archived web conference, so they couldn't attend a web conference, but they really wanted to see the presentation. We archive all of our web conferences, and you can find them very easily by going to the Events tab, clicking on Virtual Events, and then scrolling all the way down to the bottom to View All. If you know the title of it, you can just do a new search. Perhaps you're looking for a web conference on channel surfing. Once you get to the page, you want to click on the Presentations tab, and this will give you access to the streaming audio and video, or you can download the PDF presentation. Another frequently asked question is, what if I've forgotten my password? So there's two ways to retrieve your password. The first is going down here at the bottom of the screen and clicking on Problems Logging In. This will take you to a form field. It'll require your username or email address. Click Next. And if you've put in a security question, you'll be able to answer it here, and then you'll click on Submit. Or you can have a temporary login emailed to you by clicking on Email Me. If those options don't work, you can always contact us at 1-800-ESource or customer underscore service at esource.com. And you can find contact information on the bottom of every page of our website. Well, that about covers it. If you would like me to contact you about the services you have or the tools available to you, please let me know by emailing lindsay underscore carter at esource.com or calling 303-345-9178. I want to thank you all for your interest in esource and the resources you have available to you. Again, if you have any questions, please be sure to contact myself or customer service.